Hi friends, uh, welcome back to VLSI Fab. Uh, today we are going to discuss for crosstalk and its removal techniques. Uh, let us discuss why crosstalk has become so significant in uh, lower node technology. This is very basic video. Uh, please watch till last to understand it completely. Uh, so guys, uh, let's start the video without wasting time. So folks, uh, nowadays uh, like die size is continuously growing, you know, like l it's growing larger and larger. But at the same time, minimum feature size is continuously shrinking. Although uh, like smaller transistor size can result in a smaller circuit delay, a smaller feature size for interconnect does not reduce the signal propagation delay. Thus the signal propagation delay in interconnect has been the dominant factor in determining the delay of a circuit. So to lighten this problem, like interconnects are made thicker to reduce the sheet resistance. But unfortunately, this induces the crosstalk noises between the adjacent interconnects because of cap uh, capacitive and inductive uh, coupling. So this is referred to as signal integrity problem and it is exactly difficult to detect. And uh, like let's discuss few of those and how to reduce crosstalk in our upcoming slides so what is crosstalk so in short uh, like <coughs> in deep submicron technology for that less than 130 nm and below the uh, like capacitance between nets or wires on silicon become much more dominant than the interlayer capacitance hence there is a capacitive capacitive coupling between the nets that can lead to logic failures and degradations of timing in VLSI circuits. So crosstalk is a phenomenon by which a logic transmitted in VLSI circuit or a net or wire can create undesired effect on the neighboring circuits or nets oblique wires due to capacitive cap, uh, cu coupling. Uh, like you can see in the diagram two signals are going parallelly because of the upper signal we can see some glitch in the uh, like down signal like lower signal this unwanted glitch is called a crosstalk let's discuss more in the next slide so before going to the next slide uh, let's have first check what is uh, aggressor net and what is victim net so aggressor net is that net like that switches states okay which st uh, switch from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 whereas the victim net is maintained its present state it won't move okay so if both are switching in the opposite direction the aggressor switches from logic 0 to logic 1 and uh, suppose victim net is switching from logic 0 logic 1 to logic 0 which i have referred in the diagram so in this case uh, we can see the bump at the victim net and that bump depends on the coupling capacitor so larger the value of the coupling capacitor larger will be the bump this bump also affects static timing analysis of the circuit so in earlier slide uh, i have shown you if the direction are in opposite now we will see if the direction are in the same direction okay so if both nets are switching in the same direction then uh, refer to this diagram then the delay of the victim net will reduce and transition become sharper which, which leads to the whole timing violation as we have seen the glitch is the main cause for which crosstalk occurs so magnitude of the glitch that depends upon the below factors okay so if the coupling capacitance between aggressors and victim net is less then crosstalk will also be less and uh, slew of the aggressor net if high slew means high trend so rise time will be more so lesser the trend in aggressor less impact it will be in victim then higher the victim net ground capacitance will be less and the crosstalk will be less then higher the victim net drive, drive strength less the crosstalk effect that you can observe and then in the next slide we will discuss some way to reduce crosstalk from PD point of view physical design point of view now we will discuss few techniques which we can implement from PD point of view to reduce crosstalk double spacing uh, 
in the double spacing increases the spacing between the aggressor net and the victim net so that the cross coupling capacitance decreases as spacing increases and thereby reduces the effect of cross talk then multiple wires then by using multiple wires promoting the victim nets to the upper layer we can reduce the cross talk shielding as feature sizes are decreased to deep submicron dimensions coupling capacitance can significantly affect circuit performance due to the decreased interconnect spacing and increased interconnect thickness shielding in high speed digital circuits is an effective and common way to reduce cross talk noise and signal delay uncertainty a common method of shielding is placing ground or power lines at the sides of a means at the side of a victim signal line to reduce noise and delay uncertainty then <clears throat> the crosstalk between two couple interconnects is often neglected when a shield is insert inserted significantly under underestimating the coupling noise non default rule this is uh, a routing rule that is uh, like well not the default it is it usually consists of double white or triple white metal and at least double white spacing but it can be whatever you like as long as it follows drc rules non default rules are mostly used for routing only as they determine the width of the wires particularly for clock routing when there is the issue of clock restructuring and then the clock uh, tuning you might want to increase or decrease the width of the wires due to the insertion delay or skew requirements we can make our own ndr for clock signals depending upon the requirements thank you guys uh, this video i have made uh, for crosstalk uh, just to give a overview of what is crosstalk and uh, how we can reduce the crosstalk and what impact it may cause in the digital design circuits and uh, guys uh, thank you for your support please uh, like share and subscribe vlsi fab thank you